News at 7. Tonight, we're following an investigation into the death of a St. Augustine woman. St. John's County Sheriff David Shore released a highly critical report today, blasting the investigation into the death of Michelle O'Connell as atrocious and accusing the agents who led it of misconduct. Michelle O'Connell's family says they believe she would never commit suicide. They believe it was a homicide. First Coast News' Jeff Marcuse spent the afternoon speaking to the St. John's County Sheriff and joins us with details. Jeff? For ABC 25. Certainly a complicated case. Thank you, Jeff. There's a new suspect in a St. John's County cold case from more than 30 years ago. William Browning was just charged in the death of Ralph Whittemore. Browning is currently serving 150 years in prison for a 1982 murder in Duval County. The arrest comes more than 31 years after the victim's body was found. DNA evidence was sent for evaluation and testing back in January when that case was reopened. It positively identified the victim and the suspect. A new arrest made today in the shooting death of a 13 month old in Brunswick. Investigators revealed the gun found in the saltwater pond is a 22 caliber. Officers recovered that bullet that killed Antonio Santiago and now both the gun and the bullet are at a crime lab for forensic testing. Also new tonight, the sister of 17 year old suspect Demarcus Elkins has been taken into custody on a grand jury indictment. Sabrina Elkins faces a felony charge of tampering with evidence. We've just learned that the national commander of allied veterans Jerry Bass has bonded out of the Seminole County Jail. A Seminole County judge reduced Bass's bond from $1 million to $350,000. Bass's Jacksonville home was seized by police as part of Operation Reveal the Deal into alleged local gambling cafes. A man is under arrest in Putnam County after threatening deputies with a knife. David Campbell is charged with aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer with a deadly weapon. He's accused of displaying a large kitchen knife and raising it in a threatening manner when a deputy who was concerned for Campbell's well-being approached him. Police were called to the home after someone called them for help. Today, another Senate panel unanimously cleared a measure that would limit Florida's law enforcement agencies from using drones. The bill would restrict the use of drones to prevent imminent danger to life or serious property damage. The bill would also require that police get a search warrant before using a drone to collect evidence. There is one exception, a credible threat of a terrorist attack. The Duval County Sheriff is walking the streets of Jacksonville tonight. Our Roger Weeder was with him. She's looking forward to being a full time soccer mom. So will soccer moms and dads get to be out and enjoy the weather this weekend? Absolutely. All so right, nice good to news. say that. That's <laughs> right. In fact, this morning I've had enough of this. I got up and this is what I wrote on my windshield here. No more frost, Kate. All right, thanks, Mike. Florida teachers say they're now mobilizing against a proposal in the state legislature to close the Florida retirement system to new employees and move them to a 401k type plan. A special needs student walks away from school without a teacher noticing. And as Isabel Mascarenas from our sister station in Tampa reports, this is not the first time this has happened at this school. We conclude. You can tell us what you think about the ban on our Facebook page. So hopefully no one's going to be trying to attack you <laughs> right. for this We're, weekend weather. Right, yeah, my mom I even called yesterday. I'm worried about you. People <laughs> might start coming after you. This forecast needs to be it's, shaped up. You know, it's possible. I think people were getting angry about that That's cold right. weather. And I told her I'll make sure I remind everybody. I've been putting in the warm weather order for weeks now. <gasps> All right, time for sports. Bah, bah, bah. Where Chris Porter tells me he doesn't care about my team. This is bah, a problem, bah, bah. buddy. This is a problem. I care more about that bump music than I do the Syracuse <gasps> Orange. <gasps> I'm just Ouch. saying. I'm wearing my orange belt. Come on. I like Support it. the team. You look great. Well, not if you don't care about my team. And you've got a tough uh, matchup on your hands tonight. Indiana. The I'm not going to talk any garbage. I'm Indiana. not going to talk any garbage. Remember I'm just going to keep name. this light. Remember this name when you're watching the game tonight. Mm. Oladipo. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. That was a lot you got in there. Wow. I'm impressed. It must be the jacket. That is Key a fancy jacket. Key word for you. What? Play angry, Syracuse. <laughs> I love that. Play Syracuse, angry. I'm going to call him up quick. Play angry. Yes. Play angry. <laughs> Coming up, tonight's Twitter challenge. Name that Jaguar. Chris, you can't play. Oh! You cannot play. Twitter <laughs> challenge, baby. I'm fired up. <laughs> Coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> Name that Jaguar. Oh, this is boy. a picture of a Jacksonville Jaguar player. If you know who it is, tweet at Lou Turner or at Caitlin Ross 1. You get it right, I'll spoil the surprise and tell you right away. <laughs> Lou might make you hold on till tomorrow.
Well, you're holding on until tomorrow oh. to find out if you win. Zip it. What are we looking forward to tonight and tomorrow for weather? Beautiful.